What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again back with the banger of the day, guys. And today, I finally present to you guys and girls my Ranger Point Precision setup on my 1895 Marlin Trapper. All right, y'all. So I want to give a huge shout out first and foremost to Ranger Point Precision for sending on over this kit, okay? First and foremost, this quick disclaimer, they sent it over as a gift. They see me shoot the Trapper in the 1895 and they said they wanted to fit it properly with their Ranger Point Precision Chris Costa handguard as well as receiver mount. And I said, you know what? Why not? Make this, you know, real classic Marlin into a tactical space cowboy lever action. And what they did, they sent over their coastal rail. This is the coastal rail for the Marlin 1895 Trapper. I'm pretty sure it would fit also for the SBL version as well. And that is of course this under part of this Costa handguard alongside with the top parts as well that are all modular. You, you can remove the sections if you don't want that much rail or don't even want the rail at all. You could just have the handguard without the top rail as well. It's kind of like whatever you want at the end of the day. That's what you could do when it comes to this particular kit. We went ahead though from tip to butt kept the original stock. I like that wood grain. I wanted to show some of that weathering still, and I still wanted to have some classical features with it. I went alongside and put a leather wrap, and guys and girls, everything on this video will be linked down below to my blog post. I make blog posts on each and every one of these guns, so if you want the particular pieces and links to those particular pieces, click down below in the description where it will say blog post about this Henry or whatever. It'll take you to my website, twowildguns.com, where I break it down even further and list each and every item on this particular build so that you guys can see more. YouTube doesn't like links, but they don't mind you linking it to someone's website. So that's what I'll be doing here. However, I will be linking Ranger Point Precision's YouTube channel so you guys can check them out and follow them on all their latest builds. But this leather strap, I grabbed this from Amazon. I will also put that down there for you guys and girls to check out in the description. And I wrapped it up myself. There's videos on how to do that. So if you wanna have a little leather wrap, definitely good to go. And I definitely recommend it because Hitting your knuckles on that metal, it definitely over time starts bruising. Like it, it, I ain't gonna, maybe I'm a sissy, but it's, it hurts. It hurts over time. It's, you can rack it way harder with that leather strap there. Just trust me. And especially when it's getting colder out, yeah, you're gonna definitely want something right here in your lever action. Then we got up here on the receiver rail that extends all the way out, which is a part of the Costa series because it has that little extension that allows everything to continue onto the top. You have here a Trijicon MRO. I went with the Trijicon MRO. I had a high mount. I bought a low mount because as you guys can see, you know, with this as well, it does sit up pretty high. However, I am able to get a nice cheek weld and have a more upright position, whereas typically your neck is all crimped up. I like how the alignment of the whole entire gun is, even though this sits up a little bit higher than normal, it fits perfectly for what I want to do. And that is mainly just shoot this bad boy and have fun with it, okay? Then we have, of course, the Costa handguard, which has tons of M-lock slots for attachments, like this right here, this quiver mount that we had on the side from Ranger Point as well, which is loaded up with the two wild, beautiful lipstick 4570s. Check that out. And you heard me say two wild, right? Yeah, I hand loaded these. In the video, in all my B-roll of me shooting, that is my own personal 4570 that I have hand loaded myself. This was really the epitome at the end of the day that made me want to go with the 4570. I now know how to reload 4570, 223, and I'm about to start on 308. And I do a pretty good job. And being able to hand load makes these bullets go from being typically $2 a bullet to like 50 cents a bullet. So I can have much more fun with this Marlin now that I've taken that step further. And maybe down the road, if you want to see a video on that, I'll give you a video on my reloading process and all the above, so stay tuned. It, it, it's gonna come soon. Then you have the modular top rail, of course, that if I wanna add on down the road or if I wanna put, like for instance, a Vortex Razor LPVO, I can literally just put it right there and you know it's good to go. It, I mean, it doesn't even take up that much already as is, but I have that availability at the end of the day and hey, I might just throw it on there for once in a while. I have a little bit of fun. I don't, I don't mind it. This guy is not on a gun right now because the gun that it was on, it's getting some work done, stay tuned. But I love the Picatinny top rail. I can add tons of more accessories. I can add a light on the side for the M-Lock. I can really do whatever I wanna do with now all this access to these slots. Now, weight wise, it does not add that much weight as you might think, it's not really that heavy. This overall was not a heavy gun with the wood and with this now, you know, the whole entire front handguard is not adding in any additional weight that makes carrying this thing extremely difficult. It's no issue for me whatsoever. Now, the most smallest thing, but in my opinion, the best overall, man, is 
the comment, okay? The muzzle device added to the end of this bad boy, it reduces the recoil insane. Insane amount of recoil is reduced. You can feel it too. It's a little bit of a different feel. I don't know if I feel more concussed. Not nothing that's like, like it doesn't feel like like the bad concussion or nothing like where you know you're shooting like a out of a five five six out of a five inch barrel but you can tell that it's going out more whereas with no you know with that threaded on it just it goes forward i guess more but this one it has all these little slots and holes throughout it that allows that air to press out in all directions so that reduces the overall recoil it gives all that air going out in all directions the ability the availability to then you know keep the gun level and staying on target you can feel a difference i, I that's what i would want to say more it's not that you don't feel, you feel it's not that you feel a concuss but you feel the like it feels this less like bah, it, just, it feels less powerful even though it is powerful i don't want to say it in a bad way without the muzzle device you feel more recoil with this muzzle device it's less recoil it's as simple as that i think this is as simple the power is still there it's just a difference of how you feel that power and the less power of course the easier it is to stay on target. So overall, Ranger Point Precision, when it comes to Henry's, Marlins, 357, 45, 70, 45 mag, they got every selection of handguard that's needed. They also have it for the Rossi. So if you're someone that got a Rossi, you got a Marlin, you got a Henry, they more than likely got the handguard for your rifle. And they also have different types of handguards. So maybe you don't like the Coaster. Maybe you want just their regular gen handguard. Or maybe you just want their stock and no handguard. You can kind of make it your own. You don't have to make it just like this. You could, you know, have this the crazy futuristic stock and then have this all, you know, stock. Stock, stock, get it? Or you can go like me and keep it future on the front end and traditional on the back end. The, the decision's up to you at the end of the day. I want to give a huge shout out though to them once again for, you know, sending this on over, allowing me to give you guys and girls a review and my thoughts and opinions. I actually have a Henry that is in a different brand's whole chassis system, and I would like to eventually compare the two and give you my thoughts and opinions, but I will say off the rip, you can't go wrong with anything coming from Ranger Point Precision. Go follow them over on YouTube, check them out. They got some great content, salute to Pat, and uh, yeah, man, this thing right here is a beauty, man, straight up. You know what I'm saying? You just, uh, it's nice. It's it's thick. It's 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 durable. You know what I'm saying? It just feels good in the hand. And installing this is uh, I'll be honest. The install installation was a little tricky. You know what I'm saying? But it's not from Ranger Point Precision's problem. It's the Marlin itself. It's how it's built. You got to take off this tube. You got to knock off some uh, beaver dovetails at the top. This It's the way that the rifle has to be dissembled. The way that you dissemble this rifle, it's a little tricky. Definitely have certain parts. There is tons of videos up on how to do it. So you can get it done. I did it from myself at my house. So, you know, if I can do it, I'm pretty sure you can do it. But I will say it's not as simple as a handguard on a AR-15. It takes a little bit more time. It took me about 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes. And uh, it was a little bit of struggles here and there on certain things, but overall, yeah. Actually, I'll be honest, it took me a little bit longer. It took me a little bit longer because in here on the Marlin, there's actually a little barrel like rivet. And I think it's right here, right? When Marlin made this, it was not coming out. I was banging it. It was bending up my punch and my hammer. It was it was it was hard, right? And I was it was almost to the point where I was gonna send it to this my, one of my you know gunsmith to do it for me. And I talked to Pat over at Ranger. He said, you know, you, you know, you could send it in or just give it a good whack and it's, it'll come out eventually. I went back. I got a, a hammer and a punch again, a new one, and I banged it. Like I'm talking about whacked it. Like no pause, man. Whack that thing. You feel me? And I got the rivet out by myself on my own and then put the new one in because you have to swap out this rivet from marlins to ranger point precision so that it can clamp right here where you see the two screws or one screw yeah two screws so this part is going to be a little tough but you can do it you can do it okay but yeah guys let me know you guys thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section on this 4570 ranger point precision marlin 1895 trapper i like it i love it and uh let me know if you like it and love it down below. Some people love to leave their lever stock. I get it. I understand. I respect it. But uh, I like to have fun. That's what I like to do. So 
you know, at the end of the day, if I get tired of it, I can always just take it off and put it right back on. I got my wood right up in there. So it is what it is when it comes to that. But let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And uh, yeah, I'm out. Peace.